to find out if it's feasible to turn a chimney into a cannon and a burglar into a cannonball. 50% propane to 50% air. Test in three, two, one. Too rich. <laughs> Too rich. That's what happens when there's not enough air for it to ignite. I'd say we should move on to 30%, and that's 30% propane and 70% air. Once again, the proportions are measured out to the milliliter. Stoichiometry test, 30% propane, 70% air in three, two, one. It's a bit rich, yeah? Yeah. And yet again, 70% air, 30% propane, not enough oxygen to let it burn. By now, they're fully expecting fireworks. 15% propane, 85% air. What? But it's another bust. I was ready to catch that stopper. <laughs> so to raise their chances, they lower the propane. 10% propane in three, two, one, boom! Or not. Even 10% was too rich a mix. You got air. So the guys dial it down ever so slightly to seven. 7% propane, 93% air in three, two, one. <laughs> yes! <laughs> I'm gonna take another sigh of relief, just, <sighs> and one more. <sighs> <laughs> Still going up. Oh, wow, no. It's still going. No, it's still going. It's slowing down, though. And that's, it. that's where it is. Beautiful. 7%. Perfect. Or is it? Perhaps 5% propane works even better. Ready? Yep. Whoa. Beautiful. At just 5% propane, that pushed our stopper clear twofold the length of our high speed scale. The first cork at just 7% propane went 19 feet per second. The second cork at less propane, that's 5%, 30 feet per second. That's a lot more energy. Beautiful. That's 3%. And just to be sure they nailed that Goldilocks gas mix. 3% propane. That's right, ladies and gentlemen, just 3% propane. Test in three, two, one. Too lean. Too lean. And now we've gone a little too far the other direction. At 3% propane, there's just not enough fuel for anything to happen in there. So we have our perfect propane to air ratio. And now we're going to test that mix in a real rural chimney, a country style firebox. Got to make sure she's airtight. Why? Because propane is heavier than air. So it might collect at the bottom of a firebox and affect how the fuel and air actually mix. And there is our chimney. Ready? Enclosed explosion in three, two, one. <laughs> mm. oh. So this is a great example of trying to understand the stoichiometry of the fire versus explosion thing. Our igniter goes off and you actually see kind of a flame burning inside. Well, that's not an explosion. But as that flame uses up some of the oxygen right at the bottom in that firebox, that magic moment happens, and boom, we actually get explosive stoichiometry. So where are we now? Well, we just figured out that our Goldilocks ratio was about 5% propane and 95% air. We discovered a chimney with a blocked flue will give us a beautiful energetic explosion. The next step is to build our full-scale chimney and our full-scale firebox so that when our burglar's stuck in there, we can introduce our mixture, and hopefully it'll just send them sky high. Yeah, I think we're done here. Yeah, full-scale chimney, here we come.